Neary. I am going to download an arbitrary project from the internet. In this case, I'm going to go to the Apache Commons project and download something, and then open it inside NetBeans 701. So let's go to the Apache site. We'll go to the Commons Apache org site, always a good place to start. I'm going to pick the command line arguments uh, or command line interface project and we're going to go to the source. We're going to download the source. We'll save the file for the time being. First thing we want to do is we want to make sure that when we download stuff that the MD5 checksum actually matches. So let's see. MD5 commons and in this case it does match. All right, from here we can go into the directory and we'll unzip it. Here we can see the project was unzipped. And from NetBeans, we'll see if we can open the project and build it. In this case, the project turns out to be an Apache Maven project, which is a first class citizen inside of NetBeans, so it makes it very easy to use um, Maven projects. So we'll open up the project and we'll get going. Once the project's open, we'll just simply do a quick build on it and see if we can actually build it. And we'll, have, we'll know whether uh, working with files directly from the internet is something that we can do. So in this case, you can see that it opened the project correctly. And let's see if we can actually build it. So we'll clean and build. And you can see from the output window here that we're actually building the application. Well, anytime you pick something off the internet, it's going to possibly have some errors in it. In this case, it's just a difference between versions. There was no default encoding set in the project, so it's defaulting to Mac Roman. We could actually fix that. And in this case, it ran through and it constructed the jar file. So in this case, we actually downloaded a project directly from the internet, and we actually successfully built it, and we produced the commons command line interface jar file, which you can see right here. One of the other things we can do very quickly is just to make sure we'll build some Java talks so we can actually take a quick look at those as well. In this case, again, it is complaining about a difference in versions in Maven, but it looks like it's going to build our Java docs for us. And it's constructing the Java docs. And from here, we can take a look at the Java docs. And in this case, it actually constructed them properly as well. And that's the end of this demonstration.